So we're going to drop that mic down a little bit. We don't, yeah. Okay. So, sorry out there. Had some technical difficulties. Um, one of them was I plugged something in differently because we had to change something with mics. And then the camera wasn't working. So, apologize for that. Okay, so the Bremen Lions are up 13 to 5. We are in the second quarter. What do you think, Joe? Uh, it's been so exciting trying to get the camera to work. It's been hard to make. <laughs> yeah. Bremen moving the ball pretty well. And as uh, we mentioned that no one could hear, uh, Argus has a very young team this year. Yes. One we'll senior on the floor, Caden Nifong. Everyone else is either a junior or a sophomore. Uh, the other senior, Zach Hyman, is in the travel suit. So my guess is he may not be joining us tonight. Uh, I th yes, I think he's out for tonight. I injury or something. Yeah. So hopefully he's better soon. Looks like we've got Lori Manikowski watching from home. And I believe the Herefords are watching from home and John Vanderwill, probably Patty watching from home. So big shout out to all of them. You got any family out there watching? I know my parents are watching. Not sure if the, the folks down in South Carolina are watching today, but uh, hopefully they are. Well, big shout out to all of them. Thank you for your patience. Looks like we've got a foul on Trevor Devine. It's gonna send Caden Brady, almost said knife on. Whew. Too many Cadens to the line to shoot two. And the first one is good. <laughs> Sub coming in for Bremen. Looks like Feldman back into the game. And Brady's second shot is good. Freeman calls a timeout. Looks like we're going to have a uh, full timeout. Well, this is an easy one. Uh, both teams are uh, zero and zero. <laughs> Do they say, how would they say, O and O? <laughs> yeah. First opening game for both teams. Usually, actually, this is the opening game, so they're right on schedule with Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, girls will be in action Saturday night at Tippy Valley. I just found that out. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So Tippy Valley, also um, an RTC school. You should be able to view it through there. You can always go to rtc4.com and pick, like tonight you could have gone to rtc4.com and picked the Argus TV link. <laughs> Uh, Saturday, you can go to rtc4.com, pick the Tippy Valley link, or you can go to the ihsaatv.com, I think it is, or .org, the, the Champions Network, um, and, and pick up those games as well. Yeah, Saturday night's game, JV start time, 6 p.m. We will be bringing you um, JV games as much as we can. Probably not commentating during them. Um, hard to get people to do that. I've Got Joe Kindig up here. I guess they probably didn't hear that either. <laughs> I'm Amy Stone. Right. I got Jacob Stone on the camera, and Joe Kindig is up here. And Joe's son, Ian, uh, coached his first JV game. They played a really good game. They did. Fun to watch. And Jackson's managing. Love that. And, of course, Dylan's. Uh, Dylan's sitting right now. but uh, Getting a little breather. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, block out. Oh, over the back. Another foul on Trevor Devine. It's his second, team's fifth. Yeah, with all that, I was going to keep track of all that. Oh, okay. Tippy Valley has no spectator restrictions, I'm being told. So <laughs> thank you for letting me know that. I will be there keeping book. Putting on my other hat, keeping keeping book, one of the things I love to do. Brady over to Nifong, Nifong little one into Morris, foul, and we'll be shooting two. Fouls on Feldman. His first. His first. Team sixth. So we'll be in the bonus on the next shot, or the next foul. 
JJ sinks his first. I'm missing about three points. Darn it. JJ sinks his second. You were good luck, Joe. I think that's what it was. Great rebound and hustle there by Feldman. Puts it up for two. Mike yeah. Richards brings it down the court. Over to Brady. Oh, that's a hard pass to make. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh. Bremen is uh, cleaning house on the boards tonight. Yes, very aggressive. They're playing pretty aggressive style defense right now too. Mm -hmm. Mike Richards will be going to the line. And looks Feldman. like the foul is on Feldman. The second. First one's good. <coughs> looks like Dylan Kindig and Jake Stoltz giving Brady and Nifong a break. And I think uh, Caden's been out there the whole time so yeah. far. So Feldman coming out and I 42 and in Hunt. Mikey sinks the second. Another three for Harden. That's three, three threes. Three, three. Three threes. Three threes for Harden. Got a pretty shot. Yeah. Stoltz for two. Makes his. Oh, pass just a bit long, and the Dragons will take possession. Yeah, Bremen tried to uh, hurry up the offense there and hurry to pass and. Hickman couldn't hold on to it. We should have piped in crowd noise. <laughs> That's what they do for soccer. There's no crowds. They just pipe in some, oh, hey. Oh, got a little soccer kick there. Yeah, right now, I mean, you have one sophomore and four juniors out there. Drives again, misses the first, puts up the second, and gets it to go. Great job there following the shot, getting the rebound. Persistence pays off. Mm -hmm. Don't be a shot watcher. <laughs> and great blocking out there. I mean, they all yeah. had the <laughs> lane pretty yeah. much cleared for the. I don't, don't know if it counts if it hits the floor first as a rebound or not, but. I don't know. Nice little spin move there by Kindig. Puts one up for two. It's a three-point ball game. Dragons getting their groove. Chipping away at that eight-point lead Bremen had early on. Yeah. Sometimes you got to do it point at a time. Point at a time. Oh, yeah. Foul on the floor. To Redinger. Yeah. It's like foul on. first. I haven't learned all their numbers yet. Still used to the soccer numbers. I know. <laughs> Number 11. Oh, just a bit short. No one there to get that rebound. Wow. Oh, nice little. JJ with the block. Yeah. 
Richard slows it down. Sets up the offense. Good hands there by JJ. Grab that ball back. If you're watching, thank you for supporting the athletic department. Ooh, nice three there by Morris. Ties the ball game. Great shot. Of course, since you, as you can see, there's not very many fans here, and we have to pay officials. So by watching this game and helping to support the Dragons, you're helping to keep them playing basketball. We got 25 <laughs> on the other side. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that we could be here. I'm glad that they yep. can play. Bremen brought a good crowd with them. Yeah. Bremen playing for the last shot. A little over 15 seconds left here. That'd be a great way to go into half. Dragons really getting down, playing defense. There you go. Oh, moving screen, I think, right? That's what it looks like. Okay. It was on number 22. Who's that? Hickman? Dawson Hickman, Dawson Hickman, the junior. Gives Argus almost eight seconds. Sets something up. Let Argus set up for the last second shot. That'd be a great way for them to go into the half. Oh, ball stripped. And not enough time. All right. Well, we've got a tie ball game. Dragons, Dragons and uh, Lions all tied up at 20. See who can come out this second half and score more points. What do you think, Joe? <laughs> Got a few stats. It'd be nice. Get the win uh, yeah. on opening night. Yeah. Looks like hard for Bremen. Harden has 11. Feldman has two. Miller has seven. For the Dragons, Richard has two. Brady has two. Kindig has two. And Morris leads the Dragons with ten. Quick three-pointer here, just a little bit off. Morris with the rebound, brings the ball up the court. Not, oh, nice pass, gets a grab. Nice Mike. save there by Richard, back out to Mikey able to Morris. save it. That was a rocket coming through there. And Dylan just had a birthday, didn't he? He did. Big old 17. I think they were just babies. I can't believe they're that old. Shoots it a little long there. Harden with the rebound. Bremen slows it down. Quick three there by Feldman. Now Trevor Devine back in the game. He's got three fouls for the Lions. Feldman has two, a couple others with one. Dragons, there's a couple with one. That was one thing I thought about the JV game. I thought they played a really clean game. There weren't a lot yes. of fouls. Yeah, and, I, and it wasn't just that I didn't think the refs weren't calling them. There just really weren't a lot of fouls. It was a nice game. Yeah, there were only five total fouls in the second half. Wow. Little lay in there by Devine. Freeman goes back up by two. That's a, you know, that's a tough pass. Divine Especially bring. when you're double teamed. Yeah. Ooh, good D there by the Dragons. J.J. Morris gets a hand on it, knocks it out of bounds. We're going to have Caden Knife on coming back in, giving J.J. Morris a little break. Feldman asking for the foul, didn't get it. Big shout out to the refs. I couldn't be a ref. Quick little three there. A little that bit off the off the mark, as Andy likes to say. Nice little pass. Dalt oh. under the basket. Nice layup. Stepping up big. Gets the rebound there. Now he's pushing it up the floor.
Back to Stoltz. Great grab Going there by with the Kendig. Another grab. Rebound, can't put it up. There it is. And Argus gets its first, first lead of the night. Woohoo. short oh I think Richard thought that ball was going to come back to him quicker than it did big three Miller he also was uh, behind that three-point line a couple feet yeah they've had a couple couple so far that have been well beyond the arc. Uh-huh. Tough D. Freeman's playing really good defense. Very nice aggressive, aggressive right now. Very aggressive right now. Oh. And that paid off for him. Yep. Dylan got the last hand on that ball, so we're going to have a Bremen ball. Good call. Mm-hmm. Be shooting two. Got him on the Mil arm. Miller will be at the line. I do believe that was on, I think you know this kid. Yeah, number 41, Kindig. It'll be his first foul. Name's familiar. <laughs> Dragon's first foul of the half. Looks like Morris will be going back into the game. Not sure who for yet. And the first free throw is good. Sinks the first. Okay. Coming in for Redinger. Giving Redinger a little break. And sinks to second. Puts the Lions up by three. You're over there keeping stats, right? In my head, yes. Okay. Are you keeping lead changes? <laughs> Probably not in your head. Right now, two. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice try there by Stoltz. And a little lay-in Harden by Harden. Lay -in. Richards brings the ball down, gets it over to Nifong. Back over to Morris, to Kindig. Back to Stoltz. Over to Morris. And a little lay-in by Morris. Big three-pointer, whew, just From missed. way out. Yeah, good grab there by Kindig on the rebound. Richard with the ball. Uh-oh, there you go. Morris. Morris with the three. three. Woo. Lions lead by one. I feel like both teams are getting into a groove. Yeah, for sure. Both defense is playing a little more aggressive. Mm-hmm. Big three. Another grab by Kindig. Gets the ball to Richard. <laughs> this group he's got in right now, doing pretty well. Morris down low, puts it up. Morris has spent a lot of time in the gym when he could get in the gym. Cause a lot of time. We, we, you know, no one could get in the gym for a while, so. Bremen calls a timeout, 30 seconds. And we're back to being tied. It's a good game. It's your pre-Turkey game. Traditionally. <laughs> 
traditionally. I believe the last, <laughs> at least the last seven years, we've played Bremen the night before Thanksgiving. I think, oh gosh, who did we used? To, I think we used to play Bremen. So back when I was in school, Title IX wasn't, I think it was a thing, but they didn't, you know, I don't know. Right. Girls played during the week, boys played on the weekends. Right. I'm sure people remember this. So uh, it was an odd game, but this game was always played. I thought it used to be on Tuesday night, but, hmm. um, and I think it was Bremen, but it was, a, it was a rare weeknight game for the boys team. And then they would play on Fridays and Saturdays. And we only had cartoons on Saturdays. <laughs> I always love to tell kids those strange little odd facts, but yeah. Right. And we didn't have cell phones. What? Yeah. Good ball movement by the Lions. Three-pointer, and it's good. Three-pointer by Miller. Puts the Lions up by three. Got a minute, a little under a minute and a half left in this quarter. Ooh. Hickman puts it in, gets fouled. He'll go to the line. It's that Kindig kid. His second. <laughs> like Caden Brady will give Jake Stoltz a break. Angus will come in for Bremen. Shout out to 44. Great beard. Yeah. Well, no shave November. Oh. And it doesn't go. And Bremen throws the ball away. I just say over, over back. back. which will set up Argus under the basket. Is Dylan the three-point shooter? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. If he's playing against Ian in the driveway, he'll take whatever <laughs> he can get. Nice three shot pointer. from JJ. It's Jake Morris's third three-pointer. Matching Harden there. A little over 40 seconds left. Around 40 seconds. Now we're under. Yep. Got to think Bremen's going to play for the last shot here. I would. I mean, you're up by two. Start off the fourth quarter with, you know, kind of a high. Yep. If you're the Jaggins, you need to not foul. You don't want to give yes. them a basket and a foul and a free throw. It's been pretty clean so far. Only two yeah. fouls this quarter. Oh. throws it off his foot. Brady gets blocked. Oh. JJ almost had it. He did. Goes out of bounds. Oh. Good effort. <laughs> Great effort. I think our cameraman may have fallen asleep there. <laughs> oh, and Jacob Stone on camera tonight. I think we talked all about all that when, sorry, our technical difficulties were going on. Thank you for your patience. Whoa. Oh, so close. All right, so we're going into the end of the third quarter, I guess. Lions leading 34 32. I don't have any short commercials right now. I only have long commercials, so normally we'd go to a commercial break. Getting switched over from soccer to basketball. Of course, in uh, soccer, you don't have no quarters. Yeah, you get one half time, and that's it. Thankfully, all our kids got, you know, got kids got to play their soccer seasons, and yeah, very happy about that. I had that. someone the other day say, "Oh, they're just sports; Do they can go without it for a year." I get that, and I want everyone to stay safe. But if it was my child's senior year, and you had to tell, you know, I've got a niece that's playing basketball for senior year. I hope they can get in as let's put it this way: I hope they can get in as many games as they can. Yeah, absolutely. Because they can't get that bad. Sports are a good development tool. Oh, it's, it's not good. just now, but later in life. It's good for many things. That teamwork, that discipline. Yeah. It does hurt waking up to go to school the day after a game, but uh, <laughs> it's, 
It starts there. That's oh, where your work ethic games. starts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting that homework done. So it looks Maybe like not playing Among Us when you're in study hall. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Oh, you know what that game is, too. Yeah. Looks like uh, our folks in South Carolina joined us. <gasps> now, this is not Nancy, Ann. What did you Anne. say? Ann and Bill. Hi, Ann and Bill. In South Carolina. We'll have to go to South Carolina. Down, a, and down at Myrtle Beach. And I go know to their new establishment for di dinner. Probably a lot warmer down there than it is here right now. Yeah. Actually, in this gym, I think it's pretty warm, but. Oh, yeah, it's 70 and fluorescent. Three Mike Richard with a three. Argus takes the lead. Bremen has six three pointers. I just looked and saw that. Good defense by Argus. Looks like they're back in man-to-man. -man. I thought the girls were at home Saturday night. I thought I was going to have to see if Dylan could. Dylan Kindig is uh, commentating our girls' games, if we ever get a home one. He is. Um, he did one for Caston. Oh. Harden for three. He looks wanted like a it's foul go on that one. but Looks like it's going to go back and forth. Yeah. Freeman playing man-to-man -man as well. These kids are earning their turkey for tomorrow. Yes, they They're are. They're going to be hungry. Nice little ball. Fake Off there Brady's and foot. unlucky. Looks like Devine will be coming back in. As Will Feldman. Devine with three fouls. And just two points, but he's that doesn't say what he's done out on the court. Really good defender. Yeah. Been a great facilitator as well. Yeah. Sounds like the parents wanted a foul. Uh huh. But we'll get one. Looks like there's a foul Mike on Richard. Richard. His first. First of the quarter, third of the half. Oh, I saw that one coming. And I have a camera in my way. Ted got a hand up at the last second. Mm hmm. So Bremen. Looks like we're doing a, a uh, 30 second. About six minutes and 21 seconds left here in this fourth quarter. Exciting back and forth action. Dragons in a new uh, Hoosier Plains conference this year. So that's kind of exciting. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks like it's been about 11 years. I, th Since I know I been in a all sports we conference. were not you know of course we don't have football so it's hard to join a conference right. when you don't have football uh, but Argus Bethany Christian um, Elkhart Christian Lakeland Christian Trinity School at Greenlawn and the Career Academy so teams that in soccer we've been playing I think mm -hmm. basketball we play the majority of those I would say uh, yes we play all of them Girls, I'm, I don't remember if they played the Career Academy. That's the one I wasn't sure of. But exciting to see that action this year, hopefully. I never want to jinx anything. on the floor. Oh, 
Fouls on Miller. His first. His first, the team's first of the half. Wow. It's fun to watch a clean game. I would, I would rather have the points, but. But we got like the ball we back. Take the foul. All right. And looks like he gets another one. And Kindig will be going to the line to shoot two. Yeah. Second on Miller. So they go almost 11 minutes without a foul and two within the last 30 seconds. Dylan makes the first. And makes the second. Good. So we got another tie ball game. You know, and when you get down to a game like this, free throws are important. I'm not keeping track of, you know, normally when I keep book, I would keep track of any free throws missed. I, now nah, granted we were dealing with some technical issues. I don't remember either team missing one yet. Have, do you? I do not think we have. I'll have to check that after the game. I yeah. like those kind of stats. <laughs> you are correct. Those there are been, things I like to. There have been several losses over the years that I know Argus has had where if we just made one or two more free throws. Any team. It's a completely different ball game. Especially, you know, since I keep stats for the girls, I love to, to look and see, you know, what. Great work there by Morris. He's yeah. really grown as Punch. a player this year. I think his strength has really, yeah. um, you know, as he gets older and. Yeah, he was, he was being guarded very well by Hunt, the senior. And he was still able to get a shot off. Mm -hmm. Another big three there. Redinger yeah. with the rebound. Almost there. JJ's open, can't get it to fall. Ted gets it. And now Argus is up by two. Reading nurse first points of the night. Oh, big basket there by Miller. He's and gonna one. That'd be Kindig's third. Good thing he's only got four minutes left. <laughs> they keep playing him. The worst that happens is you foul out in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Oh, and, and I spoke is, too soon. That is the first, first one this, that we can yeah. remember. Which for the beginning of the season I think is tremendous. It's calling for a screen. Nope, I thought maybe he wanted him to. Just off by Teddy. I'm sure that's not the last time we'll see that. No. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Good call. Great job there by Mikey. Uh-oh, and that is another foul on Miller. I think Miller is Dylan's Bremen counterpart. Both, right now, yeah. Both of them picking up three quick fouls in this fourth quarter. Dragons will bring the ball down the court. I almost said field. <laughs> And they're going to shoot a basket. No. Oh, yeah, I guess you do shoot. <laughs> oh. It's been a long day. You'll, you'll I got a turkey to bake. By the, by the last game of the year, you'll get it. I know. I got to switch off the soccer and switch on the. It was a great soccer season. Dragons again went to oh. state. Nice move there by Kindig. Uh, they came up a little short. They, they were runner-up. So I'll take that, though. You know, two years in a row, small school. Oh, yeah. Small public school going to state, you know, it was a it was a good thing. These are some good kids. It's good to see their hard work pay off. It was a good good effort, definitely. Obviously, you like to see a different result, but uh, yeah. again, two years in a row. And I might know some of the people involved in that. Call jump ball. Jump ball. Okay. Must have been before the ball two, hit behind the backboard. Two hands on the ball, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Good job, Mikey. 
Knocks it back out of bounds. I think these kids would be excellent volleyball players. <laughs> that was a great spike. Well, and that's what they need to do. They need to get a stop and then get the ball back, get a basket when they do that. Yep. Turn that around and. A little too little much arm on, there on yep. Di Redinger, but it's all right. 32. Still got a couple to go before the bonus. Two, it'll be on the floor. Should be out of bounds. Got two and a half minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Dragons lead by two. We've got a timeout. Timeout, Bremen. For the Lions. Looks like we've got a full timeout coming up here. We've got Harden checking back into the game for the Lions. I miss our music people. <laughs> two, yeah, two and a half minutes left here, you know, um, Dragons, Kindig's got three fouls. Um, Bremen, it looks like Trevor Devine and Miller have three fouls. So I don't foresee. <laughs> yeah. Although this is a game I could see, I don't, I shouldn't say it out loud. I could see going into overtime. Yeah. Yeah, um, both teams, both teams playing very aggressive defense right now. Early on, two, three zones. Both teams have since switched to man-to-man, -man and uh, they've both uh, definitely stepped up the pressure on both sides. Great hustle there by Richard, almost had the ball. And good hustle there by Devine, grabbing that back. Ooh! Dragons almost got the steal. Good hands there by Miller. Puts it up for two. And again, we got a tie ball game. Two minutes to go. It's just raw, excite a raw excitement Argus. here today. Argus calls a timeout. I think he's got, we're going to have full another timeout. full timeout. Dragons have a very balanced, they've got four of their, let's see, two, four of their five starters have scored. Um, Bremen's points coming from Harden and Miller, the majority of their points. Miller's got 19. Yep. Um, and Harden has 16. And a couple sprinkled in from and sp others. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Sprinkled in. Let's see. Nine, one, six, four, five, six, eight. Morris, has, right now I'm showing him with 18. These are officially unofficial. <laughs> the tick marks right. on my steno pad do not. Uh, Kindig, two, four, six, eight. Kindig with eight. Stoltz with six. Brady with two. And Redinger with two. Yeah, for a few minutes. And Stoltz Richards, was three, four, five. Richards with five. Stoltz, yeah, Stoltz, was, Stoltz was hot there for a few yeah. minutes. Yeah. First half. I, I like to see, I said that at one of the girls' games, you know, I think they were behind at the time, and I went to the somebody at halftime. I said, hey, everyone has scored. Everyone that started scored. You know, that's yeah. that's big. That's, that's teamwork. That's, I think it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Ted, Ted Redinger. Redinger. From outside, misses. So again, the girls will be in action Saturday night. You can see them on RTC4 through Tippy Valley. Oh, and charge. Great job, Kindig. Gets the charge. He was set. He was in place. 50, that's his fourth. 
Had a campfire in the lane there. Yeah? Yeah, he was there a while. Good call. So yes, watch the girls Saturday night. They're coming back off of a quarantine. It is very strange to be in the gym with, you can s hear the squeaks of the shoes. Some people don't like that noise, so I apologize if you can super hear it, but. That's not definitely, uh, Ooh, definitely not a different what we environment. See. Definitely a different environment. Yeah. Some nights you can hardly hear yourself think in this gym. Yeah. And, uh, It'll well, take some getting used to. So I was, I was telling my kids, you know, when back in 1980 or whatever, when I was five and would come to games. Oh, moving screen. I'm going to say 24. Also, his fourth foul. Um, Divine. They didn't. There were so many people. They didn't have enough room for you to leave your coat with you. They had right. a coat check that you would go, go check your coat. But I mean, you know, cable TV was not a as much and no video yeah, games like they there have was today. No, I think your only option at that time was an Atari. Oh, I, I loved Atari. Oh, under 45 seconds here, tie ball game. Dragons definitely, I don't know, you fight for the last second shot? You go for any shot if, you can uh, get. You go. If history has taught me anything. 30 second timeout. Argus, 30 second timeout. If history has taught me anything, they are playing for the last shot. Okay. Well, we've got 31 seconds left. And, and you don't want to leave too much time because you don't want them to come down. I mean, you've got two great free throw shooters, or three-point yeah. shooters, Harden and Miller. And they've, they've Harden has four three-pointers and Miller has three. And they've, they've not been right up on the arc. They've no, I can see him popping up at the volleyball line there. And yeah, they've, <laughs> been, they've been some long shots. I'll knock on wood, but have not, they have not had one of those for a while, so we'll take it. Both teams fighting very hard. Again, thank you for joining us. Um, the uh, with the lack of fans in the stands, of course, it takes money to run these games and to pay the officials and and your support um, watching these games online. Thank you for supporting your the kids. Um, helps to keep you know school sports going. Nice in there. Whose hands would you put the ball in? Any of them, really? Right now. It's hard to say. I was gonna say Morris or Richard. We'll see what happens. Of course, Caden can shoot a three as well. Yes. He's been known to throw a couple of those up. Got another timeout here. A little under 10 seconds. Full Mawson. timeout by Argus. Mawson will have one left after that, I believe. One, e looks like one each. So very exciting. Yeah, both teams fighting hard for that first victory of the year. Could set the tempo for a good run. I know Argus has a Tippy Valley. Yeah. Will. Are we here or there? Tippy Valley. I think we're here. I want to say. I think I watched it on. It might be there. I'll check. Might be there this year. That's okay. Yes, you're correct. It's there next Tuesday. But they've got uh, they've got a pretty, pretty uh, good stretch there in the first five games, play some really good teams. All right, they come back out on the court. Less than ten seconds. Mawson set up another play here. He's got one timeout left. Fingers are crossed. Toes are, <laughs> if I could cross my toes, I'd cross them too. We'll try our best. <laughs> <gasps> oh, 
Oh gosh, like that's what you don't there. want. Oh, okay. Looked like they were gonna go around the knife long there for a second. Got to put it up. You got less than this. Mm. And it's off, and we, someone, and I won't name names, mentioned overtime about 10 minutes ago. Well, and I also, we one time in a fifth grade girls game, I said, we haven't had a jump ball this whole time. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Everyone give Jacob a big clap. He's so excited that we're doing overtime. He's doing a great job. I like to run the camera, but I tend to watch the game and forget to move the camera. Sure, if you could hear the, hear the fans at home, so they'd let you know about that. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, hey, you forgot to move the camera. Of course, half uh, uh, overtime is half of what a quarter is. So a quarter is eight minutes, and so the overtime is four minutes. JV games are seven minutes, and so theirs is three and a half. Listen to that crowd. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is, it is definitely different. If you're a major league fan, then you'll know what we're talking about. <sighs> One of my favorites, Harry Doyle. Harry Doyle. Each uh, coach will also get an additional timeout. I believe a full... I don't know, it's been a while. Should be a two and two then. And we go back to the jump ball. JJ Morris and Harden. Should go the op yep. opposite. No, the same way we were going? Okay. Same way as the second half. I did like how everyone everyone out there kind of had to think about it. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Well, that's what I was it thinking. It has been a while. Nice grab by Redinger. Ooh. Almost <laughs> an over and back there. Mikey yeah. got his feet down just in the nick of time. He did. I was going to say it has been since. Oh, Caden. Pull that trip. Nice job. Great pass by Naifong into Kinding. Yeah, we haven't, uh, we haven't had a game since March 5th. Uh, of yeah, last I year, think so. Or of this year. So. That was a Saturday, and it was supposed to be the 12th. Yeah, something like that. I'm not going to look because I don't. I'm not saying I don't care, but it was something like that. Yeah. Morris knocks the ball out of bounds. We had some kids grow, I think, during that time. Especially uh, Mike Richard's younger brother, Sean. He had grown quite a bit. Yeah, I think he's 6'8". 240 Six pounds now. <laughs> Definitely a big kid. I mean, for a freshman, he's a big kid. Ooh, three-pointer there by <laughs> Trevor Devine. Great job he's by Bremen. He's saying, I there. got four fouls. I don't care. I'm yeah. popping the three. Great ball movement by Bremen there. Just got to find a way to stop it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, he did kind of shuffle. He did walk, yes. Kick. Miller with the kick, it'll be first down. <laughs> first and uh, first and goal. First and goal. Oh, nice, yeah. that yeah. was great. Great play. Nice pass by Caden Nifong. Yeah, that was JJ good placement. Morris. JJ Morris on the backdoor cut. That was that was a great play. And he gets the free throw to go with it. And the foul was on Feldman. It'll be his third. Well, and that's what we need. If they put in three, we've got it. Ooh. Jinx that free throw. Still a lot of time left. Two and a half minutes. And Bremen continuing to move the ball. Morris with the foul. It's his second. Hmm. Not seen that before. Harden will shoot too. Yep. 
Oh. Okay. He misses his first. He's got a nice free throw motion. Yeah. He. Do you have your? What grade is he in? Is he a senior? He's a junior. He's a junior. So okay. we'll have to see him one more year. <laughs> I like how you said that. We'll have to see. <laughs> uh, it's been a great game. This is a really good game. Both teams ramped up the defense I'd in like, the second half. And I'd like to see Dylan pop that three. Just very, kidding. <laughs> very aggressive on both teams. Oh, Caden. Caden probably should have taken the three-pointer. Maybe he hasn't been given that green light. Could be. Jump ball. They're going to call jump ball. And the Dragons will lose that ball. Not, you can't call travel because both all of them had their hands on. That's probably that was a good call. Correct. Now, if you compare Dylan and Ian, different players, different mental players. Yes. Okay. Yes, very much so. A little jumper there by Harden. Harden gets it to fall. Yeah, Dylan. At this point uh, in their careers, Dylan's got Ian by about 30 pounds. Yes. So he's a little I think more Dylan physical. probably still has Ian by 30 pounds right now, doesn't he? About 20. 20, okay. Really? I, they carry it differently. Yeah. Oh, well, Ian's got a couple inches on it still, doesn't he? Jackson's going to be the tallest, one. I'm telling you. Jackson giggles when I say that, but. One minute to go. Dragons need to stop here. They need to get the ball back. Looks like Bremen's doing almost identical to what the JV did. JV had a five point lead and they just ran the ball around the perimeter. Yep. Both teams at six and fouls. And so yeah, as I say, you're darned if you do and you're darned if you don't. If you start yep. fouling, they're gonna go to the line and. Potential three point lead there. It's been a great, well, that's what we're gonna do. Mike Richard. So Divine, second. who played most of the fourth quarter with four fouls, is going to get to go and have a chance to sink a one and one. And the first one's good. Lions up by three. About 35 seconds left. This could make it difficult. Makes it difficult. And he gets it. <clears throat> so now you gotta try and hurry up and get two and try and get a stop. Or send him to the line real quick, get the ball. He shuffled again, I think. Yep. Somebody's gonna have to tell him about that. Morris. Oh, just no good. Hit the back of it. Think that one's going to be on Morris. Nope. Caden Nifong. It's got to be his first. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Harden will go to the line. One and one. I hate to say it, but this one could pretty much put it away. It could. Probably seals the deal there. We got a six point yeah. ball game. With 16 Although seconds stranger left. things have happened. Definitely got to shoot the threes. Yep. Four point one seconds left. Got a jump ball. It's going to be Bremen ball. Pretty sure that should be going the other way. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, I thought we just yep. had one and it was. Yeah. The jump um, ball down. Been uh, there, done that. Sometimes you got a lot going on down there. And oh yeah. yeah. Those people work very hard. I always say it takes about three people down there to try and keep track of everything going on. Looks 
like we got some precipitation down on the court. <laughs> well, it did snow a little bit this week, so it's 17 percent. I suppose that's what it is. Argus takes it out, falls into Morris. Morris loses it, and then he commits a foul. It'll be his third. So we'll have Harden at the line. I'm going to assume from the clapping that that one went in. Yes, it did. I was trying to add up some stats here. I was going to say something that this is pretty much an automatic two. He's been very, very good from the free throw line. And that's the game. Yeah, so for some unofficial stats here, I am just on my little steno pad. For Bremen, we had Hickman with two, Feldman with two, Trevor Devine with seven, Miller with 19, and Harden led the pack with 23. For the Dragons, we had Caden Brady with two, Teddy Redinger with two, Mike Richard with five, Stoltz with six, Dylan Kendig with 10, and J.J. Morris led the Dragons scoring tonight with 20. Again, officially unofficial. I may have one of those or two of those in the wrong spot, but not a, not a bad game. No. Um, no. I don't think the score reflects, you know, overtime hard fight by both teams. So Absolutely. looking forward, and you said, uh, late, let's see, Lady Dragons will be in action at Tippy Valley on Saturday. Tippy Valley also carries the ball games. Check out their link through rtc4.com. Um, click on the Tippy Valley link this time. And also the boys play Tuesday night, December 1st at Tippy Valley. So two Valley games in a row. So for Jacob Stone and Joe Kindig and myself, Amy Stone, thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and a happy Thanksgiving.